Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me doing the weekly or uh, the daily problem on day 19 of the Lico January daily challenge. I don't know, but did I even say the right thing? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Uh, let me know if you have any questions for this one or similar problems. Huh, seems like I haven't done this one yet. I actually hate that indicator. I wish there's a way to hide it because one is that I generally don't remember these problems anyway. And... And, you know, it kind of, I don't know if it's a hint or not, but but I still would like to know or not care if I know that I, I have done it or not. So I haven't done this one before, so let's do it together for the first time. Um, 974, separate sums divi divisible by K. So given an integer array nums and an integer K, we turn the number of non-empty subarrays, and we're talking about subarray, so contiguous. I get this wrong a lot, so I'm, try I'm putting emphasis mostly for myself. Uh... And yeah, because I get this wrong so much. Like I, conf I, I sometimes read too quickly and it's stuff away, subsequence. Who knows what, what they mean? Why don't they just like tell you? Uh, okay, so basically, empty, non empty of subarray that is sum divisible by k. Okay, so I mean, I think that's. This is actually. Um, hmm. What am I thinking of? This reminds me of a problem that I've seen recently, so that's why I'm trying to think about it. Whether. Uh, I guess that's. Like what? What I think the the re, re, no hmm, maybe not. Uh, no, I think this was one. Maybe it was just on my Discord or something where people were talking about the out uh, the the formula. But okay. So this problem is kind of hard in a way. Um, that if you don't know how to do it, it's really hard to learn from code. I believe. Um, because I think if you're really funky, uh, or like not real funky but like some people can really write this in like five lines of code and without an explanation you're just probably lost you're like what is going on here it is five lines of code you, you add some stuff up and then suddenly it works right um okay so so the key part is kind of uh there are a couple of components right uh one is that um you know, let, let's ignore the divisible by k part for a second, right? Then, what, 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 like, instead of divisible by k, maybe it's just equals to k exactly, right? And I think there are, there are problems that are similar to, or uh, I think that's a problem on lead code in general. And basically, the idea behind that then, right, will be, um, would be, well, you have this sum, um, and, and the core idea behind that would be prefix sum, right? And what do I mean by that? Meaning that, you know, the, the visibility that you have, then you have, you know, and the core idea behind prefix sum, I, I go over it sometimes, I don't go over it some other times. Today, I guess I'll go over it. Also, I'm going to do a bonus question after this, so definitely hit the bell and, you know, let's keep doing it. I'm, I'm trying to debate whether I, I want to draw on the screen or just use ASCII art. Um, let's, do, let's do ASCII art for now. But it, yeah, let's say you have, um, you know, a to like a lot of numbers, right? And then um, the idea behind prefix sum in this case will be that um, okay. So then now you have maybe uh, let's just start with a sub zero because I'm not, you know, because I I'm a computer scientist and we start at zero, like normal civilized people, right? <laughs> now uh, and then you know maybe f from that you have. Uh, S sub zero, which is technically the um, the sum of the first zero elements, um, which is usually going to be zero unless there's some weird thing, uh, and then so forth, right? Um, and then this is going to be S sub n plus one, Oops. something like that, right? Yeah. And so the idea behind prefix sum is that. You know, um, to get any sum of any subarray, um, maybe I should have asked, uh, drew it out. But basically, let's say you want to know the difference between, uh, or the sum of A2 to A3, right? Maybe I could have drew, drew this out a little bit more then. Um, right? Let's say we want the sum between here. Then the idea is just, you know, so basically you want to find out A plus 2 plus A plus 3, right? The idea then is that this number is just equal to, Maybe I'll add spaces for emphasis. A sub 0 plus A sub 1 plus A sub 2 plus A sub 3 minus, uh, oops, 
a sub zero minus a sub one, right? Uh, or, well, plus this thing, but then you know, you prevent, you know, add a prevent to it. Uh, here I'll add it for you. I don't know why I said that. Way. But yeah, so that's basically the idea behind prefix sum and kind of getting the um, the the things behind the, you know, for for a given interval, right? Um, okay, and then now of course then we just sub it in. This number is going to be s sub four. Maybe I could put here instead. But yeah, but this is you go to s sub four, I think, like I said, right? S sub four is the 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 sum of the first four numbers minus uh, s sub two, right? Because this is just the the sum of the first two numbers. So that means that yeah, I mean, and you could do it in any number of ways, right? So that's basically the the core idea behind prefix sum and trying to get sub arrays. Um, okay. So then now going back to our, our uh, the initial problem of, okay, let's say we try to sum the K. What does that mean, right? That means that now, let's say we are, we just process A4, right? So that means that we just got S5. You know, we calculated S5. Then let's just say that, um, how do I say, minus S sub sum X is equal to K, right? Because what does this mean? This means, you know, uh, and we can write this out as well. S sub 5 is equal to A sub 0 plus A sub 1 dot 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 plus A sub 4, right? And S sub X is just also A sub 0 plus A sub 1 dot 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 plus um, A sub X minus 1 or something like that, right? So something like that, um, right? And basically the idea here is that this will give us um, some... I don't know, right? So some a sub x plus a sub x plus 1 plus dot 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 plus a4, right? I mean, maybe maybe there's not enough that much room for to go to a4, but you get the idea, right? So that means that, um, so what I'm writing here means that there's this subarray, and maybe this is another j or something, right? You could use i and j or whatever, um, but Use it for sake of example as you go to this. That's basically what we're trying to do. And given that we have a S of five, we go, okay, what is how do we find this number, right? Well, you know, you just do very basic manipulations, and maybe I, I proved this a little bit backwards, um, because then now you have this, and then now um well we know what this is because we calculate it. We know what k is because it's the input. So we have one formula, one unknown. So, so then we can just do uh, S5, we minus K on both sides, add S sub X on both sides, right? So that means that now we're just doing a search for S of X that we've seen in the past. Um, of course, that could be, there could be multiple of them because of zeros, negative numbers, and so forth. So yeah, and so this is basically the, the, um, the foundation of how to get... Um, this is the foundation on how to get, um, you know, the count of number of subarrays that sums to k, right? Okay. I uh, hope this this part is understandable so far and makes sense, because then the next part is going to be divisible by k. Well, now you kind of you know I mean same formula ish, the same idea, same idea, same idea, but now instead of this, it's just going to be this idea that under mod it's going to be u to zero. That's basically what it means to be divisible by k, right? So what does that mean? That means that this uh, mod k is equal to zero, right? So what does this mean? This means that, you know, and you could play around with, um, you know, it, there are a couple of ways you can think about writing it. Um, of course, uh, to be honest, at this point, I rely on intuition. It's, I wouldn't say intuition. It's just maybe... Uh, muscle memory or past experience, but here you can kind of try. Well, I mean, in a naive way, you can say, okay. Uh, well, I mean, actually, can I? Do? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, this part is actually quite. You know, you can figure it out itself as well, right? I mean, this simplifies to s five mod k minus s x my k is equal to zero, right? Um, so but, so then now you can add, well, S sub X mod K in both sides. So then now you, you're basically left with this formula that you're trying to find all the X's in which this is true for each 
five. Um, I mean, you know, you could keep going up, right? And that's basically the core idea behind, you know, they, they, uh, how much have, I spent 10 minutes, maybe a little bit less because I think I was talking about other stuff. I spent 10 minutes just kind of building up the foundation of basically a five line solution, maybe maybe more because I, I write, I tend to be, I tend to write a little bit more, but that's basically the idea, right? Um, yeah, and then now, one thing that I would say with these problems and problems in general and leak code and problem solving in general is that there are two components, right? One is the problem solving part and then the other is the implementation. Just because you have the problem solving done doesn't mean make the implementation trivial. Sometimes it, the implementation could be hard. So, so if you haven't already done it or if you're lazy, I suppose, um, feel free to at this point you know, pause, stop, see if you understand what I, you know, maybe rewind, watch it again, maybe a little bit faster, and see if you can implement now, you know, now that you came to this idea, see if you can implement it from scratch, and then we can compare the, the implementation afterwards. And you can also see me try to implement this live, because uh, if you've been watching enough of these things, you'll know that I make a lot of silly mistakes, to be honest. Um, yeah. And also all these, all this explanation, um, I think sometimes from time to time people think that like I prepare for these, uh, which to be frank, part of it is that I'm really lazy. So I don't really prepare for this and everything is done live. So all the explanation, all the kind of proof, uh, proof which is why it's not as well, uh, 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 it's robust the word. Maybe it's not as sharp uh, or precise as it could be, but everything is done live, right? And I think that part is to demonstrate, and I'm not saying that to brag, Maybe a little bit, but no, no, no. Um, no, I'm saying it because I want um, people to kind of uh, focus on the problem solving part and that, you know, these are my thought process and this is the, the proof that goes into it, right? So yeah, okay, hope that makes sense. Anyway, let's go. So, okay, so be, uh, yeah, so we have, um, <laughs> let's just say, look up. Counter, uh, look up a, I, I always mess this up because I always forget the S sub zero right here, which is zero. Uh, not, not always, but I mean, I, I figure it out usually pretty quickly, but I don't know, it's a crapshoot whether, um, whether I remember it or not. Nums. Um, okay, so go to X. Okay, look up. Of current da, 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 return answer. I know I, I kind of did it in a weird way. Right. Oh, now. Oh, huh. Negative. I forgot about negative numbers, but it should still be okay. Did I mess this up? No, it was zero. Mm. No, it was, mm. How did I mess this up? This is so sh short. Ah, this is just right by default. So, so maybe, let's see. No, you definitely want to add answer before this. I don't think this works, so I'm trying it for dumb reasons. Yeah, I don't think that would work um, because you double count every number. Um, hmm. What am I missing? It's always embarrassing to, you know, have talk like a, a long spiel and then and then you're like, well, I said a lot of stuff and now I'm wrong. No, nah, I'm not wrong. I mean the 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 problem solving algo is right, but the implementation's a little bit wrong. Why you stay? It's okay. Let's see. Sometimes it's the negative numbers, but I don't think that's the case here. So four is zero, yep. What is K? K is five. That makes sense. This five, and then zero is two. That also makes sense. No, this should be three. Oh, no, 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 this adds two. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, hmm, what is current here now? So nine, and then... It goes back to seven, so it still should be two. Hmm, let me just double check then. Hmm. Did I have some weirdness here? Oh, wow, I'm just... I talk about how I messed this up and I still messed up. This should be one, of course. 
I'm fail. That's my fail face. Uh, I'm making an effort of talking about how I always forget zero, and then uh, oh, 1024, a binary number. Uh, two to the ten, yay! But uh, I made such a deal. <laughs> I just find it amusing because I've made such a spiel about like, ah, Larry's not going to forget it this time because I always mess this up. And then I set it to zero and then I messed it up. <laughs> uh, it happens, I suppose. Uh, but yeah. Um, and then now, I mean, in, I, I think one thing that I am kind of bad at sometimes in this video is that I actually already know the complexity. So that's why I don't, f I should m mention it, but I don't enough times until at this point I forget. But um, but usually you should only implement if you're either confident or you're still exploring. Uh, but um, and like try to f you know implement maybe a naive algorithm and then see if you can optimize it. But uh, yeah, I and just knowing the complexity and knowing that it's going to be fast enough. I actually didn't even look at n because I knew that it was going to be linear time, linear space. And when that's the case, usually it's fast enough. Um, and in this case, it, it it is because well, that's just how that works, right? It, it is linear time uh, from here. From this loop and linear space because lookup can, I guess technically O of k space, but O of k could be uh, linear in the size of nums anyway. So uh, or k could be bigger than nums. So yeah, um, and it, it it is limited by nums. But yeah, um, cool. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. I think this problem is also one of those problems where like. If you're still learning, and I think I, I struggled with this for a bit when I was be beginning, um, or maybe not even when I was a beginner, because because uh, I kind of learned this particular breed of dynamic programming um, a little bit later in life, to be honest, which is kind of funky. Um, and the reason is because, and I'm going to age myself really hard, is that in most lib or in a lot of libraries back then when I was doing a competitive, uh, there were no hash tables. Uh, I think Java had it a little bit. Um, but because, and people didn't use STL for C++ back then, I, I did competitive in C, and that's not C++, it's straight C, and CC, if you if you want to look it up. Um, yeah, because of that, there weren't hash tables, so definitely like, but it was like a chicken and egg thing in that, um, uh, um, because hash tables were not uh, 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 in the standard language, because um, you know, I think the other language that people use was Pascal. I actually don't know anything about Pascal, so definitely let me know in the comments if you do know about Pascal and hash tables. But I think as a result of the limitations, um, people just didn't ask questions about hash tables. Or if they did, they want you they they, they write it in a way such that they expect you to create your own hash table. Um, so that's why. So for a problem like this, you look at it as like, oh, it's like six lines of code because you can use hash table uh, or whatever it is because I can do math. Um, I, I, I didn't have practice on these problems until maybe like um, when I dip back a little bit into lead code and whatever, like five, six years ago when I started doing this journey, uh, maybe a little bit before that, because uh, the idea isn't super hard per se, but you know, it still took practice. So if, if uh, just as a little bit of a story for you to kind of think about uh, that things that you take for granted, like hash tables. I mean, even obviously, obviously now there's STL, but even back then there was like boost hash tables for C++, which people did use in production, of course, um, but but that's not standard-ish yet back then. Hmm. Uh, besides that, I hit myself in the head, I'm dreaming all this up, so uh, let me know what you think. But yeah, uh, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye. And stay tuned for the extra bomb. Bye-bye.